Hello, fellow podcaster listeners. Once again, tuning in here for another episode of the Creator Podcast. So thank you very much for tuning in from wherever you are tuning in from. Maybe you're in the kitchen doing some cooking right now. Maybe you are in the shower, you're having a shower or commuting to the gym, um, commuting to work, you're doing some commuting. Um, I often listen to podcasts when I'm at the gym, when I'm tra- some people do it when they're traveling, but to be honest, I don't do it as much when I'm traveling. To headphones, uh, listening to music on headphones and stuff. I don't really like that much. Only at the gym. And um, yeah, I listen to podcasts all the time, every day, because I listen to it every time I'm cooking. So every time I'm doing something that requires um, minimal mind power, I find that that is the best type of times to listen to podcasts. So yeah, podcasts can be amazing and very stimulating, and I hope you guys are getting a lot of joy and interest out of this one. Today is going to be a slightly shorter one. Um, I'm going to cover a a very interesting topic today, which is the topic of... um, I mean, how do I explain this? This is a very, um, very, very interesting topic to me. And that is the topic of uh, creating a YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, for me is what that is, but for you it could be anything. Um, and overcoming your fears of doing something you know you really want to do, um, or something that's very important to you, something that you think is really amazing, something that you really love, one of your dreams, one of your passions. Really building that. Uh, maybe perhaps you want to start a new business or. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, perhaps you want to do something that means a lot to you and you're just putting it off or there's always things that come in the way or there's always a massive fear that you personally have about that that really stops you from doing it. I mean, let's be honest, guys, if we, if we face it, most people in this world, although everyone has dreams, most people do just talk about their dreams and they never really do it. They never they never accomplish their dreams or that the, the problem is not that they don't accomplish their dreams. The problem is the fact that they don't even try trying uh, and giving up or not doing anything about it and taking no action you know or giving up on your dreams or just doing nothing about your dreams um having dreams though more sadly and talking about it to people but never doing about it is is terrible is one of the worst things and i i wish that for no one and um, i hope that you that you listening to this podcast are not going to be another one of those people i hope that this podcast will inspire you to stop and not flick to the next video not flick to the next podcast not flick to something else to stimulate your mind further but to stop right now and this would be the last podcast you need before you don't waste any more time anymore consuming podcasts consuming radio consuming books reading books consuming youtube videos consuming netflix videos uh, netflix uh, videos tv consumption anything and stop and go And stop procrastinating from the very thing that your mind wants you to do. And your heart, more importantly, wants you to do. And that is to pursue your passion and to work on your dream. Building that business, uh, building that YouTube channel, building uh, that piece of art. Whatever it is that really is going to be uh, using your time on this earth to the maximum extent. You know, we only have one life and... Uh, do at least saying you tried or you spent as much time as you possibly could pursuing what you really love your heart's desire and that is key you know it's so important so yeah i hope you, you listen to this podcast and then go away and do some work on it straight after this podcast you think that was good turn it off now to go and spend a few hours working on you know uh, that piece of art that i'm working on or working on this photo album or working on producing this content or working on putting together these pieces for this business or working on contacting these people I need to contact, whatever it is, um, to do more action about that. And yes, um, for me, this, uh, my story is that, guys, I have wanted, uh, I've always been a very creative person. I've always been uh, particularly passionate about and have found through my teen years what my main passion focus is on. And that is that I've been focused, uh, uh, passionate about YouTube YouTube and specifically what I've discovered that is, is is video creating okay I am a video creator at heart I created many things in my life I've done art I've done drawing I've done re you know I've done um, writing um, I've done sports you know I've, I've done a lot of things but the real thing that sets my heart on fire with just never-ending ideas guys and passion 
is creating in general, but particularly creating videos. I mean, I've always created, uh, well, loved to create videos. In fact, I found on my computer the other day, on one of my old, old, old USB hard drive sticks, uh, one of my, um, well, tons of my old, old videos from my very first ever camcorder that I got bought. Um, I think, I can't remember, I can't, Remember, guys, who it was who actually bought me that particular camcorder. Maybe it was my mum or my my nan, maybe, uh, for Christmas many, many years ago. And it was just a really crappy one now, looking back at it. But looking back at it at that time, it was a very amazing thing to have a camcorder that records, vid uh, records videos. And I took all these videos, and I never even ever watched them, because I didn't know how even a camcorder works. But years later, I have found that I'd stashed them and stored them and put them up safe in a inside uh, of a memory stick and <laughs> all these years later the beauty is that you discover it later and you know it's very dodgy because I had 10 or 20 old memory cards and I just threw them all in the trash one day I said enough is enough and I was throwing out my trash in my house I said this is these memory sticks you know I'm never going to get round to to these memory sticks just going to chuck them or throw them all and lo and behold God saved this one and this was the one uh, with all my old videos on it so I have decided that I am going to grab those videos and nab them and take them and put them into the uh, video editor uh, on my computer, uh, stash them all together and to make uh, one type of flashback or compilation video and uh, share it all with with this channel or something in the future. Probably this channel because this is more my friends and family watch this and um, whoever my friends and family are, they're all going to relate to these videos because it's people that they know, for example, me and uh, my family members, my sisters and stuff like that in there. So it'd be kind of interesting because, um, yeah, it's even videos of me and my little sis little sister when I was younger, I used to take her to the park and we used to mess around and do all of these stupid comedy videos and running around with a dog and doing videos and, you know, things like that. And uh, these, are the, these are the childhood memories that you treasure and cherish, you know, and keep them close. And here's, that's the problem, guys, you know, all of you who don't do social media or anyone who doesn't do it, um, unfortunately, you'll be left with no memories in the future, no photos, no things to look back on. And um, for me, doing, having a portfolio online of, of uh, all of logged uh, memories, you know, it's like, that's what a vlog is, vlog, video log, it is logging uh, all of your memories uh, from the different um, ages of your life. So when your teenage years and then your 20s and then whatever, whatever uh, age you're at, is um, to be able to record that and then so that you can look back in 10 years, 20 years, uh, five years time or t and you can look back and you can see, wow, you know, I've got all these memories and these videos, these experiences and you can, you know, relive your past in um, full 4K glory. <laughs> well, my camera was really old and crap, crappy quality back then, but... Um, yeah, it's amazing. Anyway, the point is, guys, is that I was always, I had always been a video creator at heart. So I'd always picked up the camera and ran around and done videos and and, and naturally found it something that I would constantly just click record and shoot more stupid videos about, you know, all kinds of random things. I would, for example, I've got this one uh, video where I used to say, <laughs> I used to say um, this word called Ginny, which is this really annoying word that I used to annoy my sisters with. I used to scream it at the top of my voice in a high pitched uh voice and I've just got I discovered guys all of these old videos uh, of me in the past you know just terrorizing my family my sisters my mum running up to them with the pointing the camera in their faces you know and uh, screaming these kind of stupid words and phrases at the top of my voice and um yeah that's kind of the beauty of life you know having all of these memories about I, I never would have remembered that I was like that in the past had I not come across these videos and you know reignited uh, the flame uh, of those memories uh, deep inside of me. So, yeah. Um, now, uh, because I want to create um, more and more videos in a, in a YouTube channel, oh, well, channels that I am, in fact, now doing, <laughs> finally, um, I started it about two years ago. Well, about a year, about one year and a half, guys, where I tell you about my, my channel, Hot Cup of TV, which is my game, successful gaming channel. Before I started that, it has been years of just looking and watching YouTubers, becoming passionate about it and just telling other people, you know, that I want to be a YouTuber for ages and being one of these people who talks about their dreams, but never 
never does anything, just never acts on it, always says, I'm going to do it, I'm going to be that, I'm going to do that later, and just, you know, all oh, right, okay, people just say, oh, okay, it's this old story again, you know, they, just like with everyone else, you talk the talk, but you're not actually walking the walk, you are not living the dream you want to create, so, yeah, I find it that starting a YouTube channel, specifically from my my story, my way of looking at it, and you guys can all probably relate whoever you are right now, um, with replacing this with whatever passion or whatever your, your dream is, um, is that it was remarkably diff- difficult to start. It was, it was so hard to get started. It was not easy. There was, do you know how many, do you know how many things, um, stopped me? And these things were a lot of the time myself, my mind, my thoughts, fears, you know, fears of what if it goes wrong? Is it, is it um is it right is it perfect have i have it is it ready yet am i good at this good enough at this yet how am i going to how am i going to produce it where, where am i going to post it what am i going to name it you know there's about a million different excuses and um what i in hindsight look back on now and see as fears uh that come up um excuses you could call them fears you could call them uh and they come up and they to block the mind they they literally it's like an invisible barrier that forces you and stops you from taking action on your dreams. It suffocates you. Says, "Ah, oh, you know, I'm not good enough for that. I can't do that. I can't do this now. I, I'm, I'm not ready. I, in a few years, I'll be ready. Or I don't have the right camera yet. You know, I don't have the right thing yet. I don't have the right business idea. My, my idea isn't fully fleshed out yet. I shouldn't, shouldn't do it until I'm ready. All of this bullcrap, bullshit excuses. And this is the whole purpose, guys, uh, for my main inspirational branded channel, Hot Cup of Jordan." which uh, I'm talking a little bit, bit about on this podcast, but is mainly what I do- dive and delve deep into in those videos over there, which uh, is a new uh, video coming out soon, and already some inspirational videos over there, on how to take action on your dreams and to stop to stop messing around, you know, to pick up the camera now and go and do it. Obviously, I specialize in particularly helping other video creators because that is exactly my niche and my passion. My passion is to help other people get over their fears about starting their own YouTube channel uh, specifically. very That is exactly specifically. But, you know, ideally just helping anyone who's creative and creators to get over these little barriers or obstacles that whatever it is that's stopping them and holding them back. And I hope to provide, you know, many, many insights of each uh, video I create of much, much value on this channel or on that channel to help people overcome those different fears and barriers. And every single time they watch a video, I want them to stop I want them to that to be the day which they stop watching any more videos and they straight away after watching my video go and solve the problem that they've been putting off for ages, you know, and then I want them to come back and comment on the comment section and tell me, you know, this video really got me off my arse and made me take action. And guess what? Now I've done something that I've wanted to do for ages and now I've made it, you know, or I've um, done this or done that. Oh, but this, this is the most important part, guys. The most inspirational thing I can give you all, and this is what I always come away with, and I'm just so happy that this this gives you the real peace deep within your soul, you know, this makes everything all right, is the fact that it doesn't matter if all these things go wrong. It doesn't matter if it actually messes up. It doesn't matter if things don't go the way you planned and uh, your your particular goal or dream doesn't work out straight away and it's not successful right now. It doesn't matter at all. What matters, and the fact is, is is the fact that you had tried it and that you do try. Because don't you wish, won't you feel a bit better, right? If you, let's say you get to the end of your life and you, you didn't accomplish any of your goals that you wanted, but that you at least tried. Wouldn't you feel at least, you know what, at least I blink and tried. I, I died, you know that phrase, die trying? Well, yeah, you really, it really is important and it means something for a reason is the fact that um there's there's two options right one is to tr- really try for the whole of your life however long it takes maybe one year maybe 10 years um no matter what the period of time as to try and accomplish uh your goal and then actually end up succeeding and getting to the to the goal you wanted and then being so happy at that and bang, becoming successful in whatever it is you wanted, you've achieved it, you've dedicated your life to it, and look, you put all that effort in, and bang, now you've achieved the result, you can be happy about that, achieve the rewards, and progress to the next thing, and then go further. Um, 
or uh, doing doing all of that and then and then not getting uh, what you actually wanted but you you know you've spent the whole of your life trying you know trying giving it everything you've got and using all of your energy then at least you know you've used your life usefully because at least you you know you know the worst thing is what if that feeling of what if you know this is what uh, almost every old person you have ever known talks about when they talk about to regret you know or talk about memories they're always talking about the past these people ah oh, what i would have done in my life or oh, if i had have done that or things would have been a lot of different or all the way back then i was this and i i wanted this and i i had that wanted these dreams did that and like these people are all um regretting they have they're just fooled with uh dreams and hopes that they never you know never did uh most of them never had most of them i don't know they it's like they didn't they didn't do everything they wanted to do in their life and you don't want to end up like that you don't want to end up with regret the worst thing is regret the the fact that you said you know i didn't even try i would have never known the what if that feeling what if is way worse uh, than trying so i hope that this uh, podcast gives you the inspiration or whatever it is that you need uh, in order to, or just give you a little bit of hope and, and, and lift in your mind, a po- bit of positivity, positive energy to be able to know, right, that for you, whatever it is, um, you can do that. And it will charge you with more energy to to go out and, and take some action, do something or try whatever it is of your dream or whatever it is, some idea you've been thinking about trying for ages or you've been slightly contemplating it. Go out and start it now because this is the key, guys. What I'm about to tell you is the absolute key. This What I'm about to tell you is not my advice. What I'm about to tell you is advice I have learned from masters, masters of, of um, uh, digital video specifically, but, you know, other other creators who have, who have been there, experienced it, done that, and achieved success by going through these pains and these failures. I think it's very important to talk about these uh, pain, failures, difficulties, and uh, that not everything is always perfect, you know. You're always going to have problems and fears and obstacles. I have them every day. And that is, um, you need to start before. The key word is before, guys. You are ready. You know, you have to just turn on the camera and click record. This is one of my favorite uh, phrases. And this is, in fact, what I was thinking of creating the slogan or the logo, whatever catchphrase for my channel is going to be I would definitely have done that if it wasn't for this channel that I'm actually learning from has already uh, made it his but um, it's actually by the way guys if you're interested in this this is the one this is one of the most inspirational digital creator channels there are right in the whole world on YouTube right now Uh, and it's called Think Media the channel is a YouTube channel called Think Media the the guy who I'm referring to is called Sean Canal and he is just uh, an absolute inspirational wonder about taking action on your dreams and not letting not letting your excuses get the best of you not letting your fears get in the best of you not letting perfection get the best of you punching fear in the face and just going ahead and taking action and doing it you know right now trying because if you're if you want to start a business but you're not ready right now just do what you can right now but do something take some action reach out to some clients try to um you know, try, just see, see, because it's worse planning for six more months and then not seeing and then just eventually not even doing anything about it anyway. Uh, so anyway, I hope that has made some type of sense and logical cohere- cohe- <laughs> cohesion, coherence, you know what I'm trying to say, uh, to you guys and that, um, yeah, like I say, gives you a little bit of a kick and a little bit of a boost and um yeah, that's going to be about it for uh, going to be about it for today and today's podcast. Um, I'm sure I had something something else to to bring up in this episode. What was that? But anyway, um, yeah, that was it. It's because of the fact, guys, that I record these podcasts so late. It's really quite interesting. It's like the remnants uh, of my thoughts for the whole day. You know, I spend the day either at work or coming back from work and creating. Or if I have a day off of work or um, lately I've had a bit of time off of work creating in the daytimes now, like I'm doing currently, uh, I spend all of my creative energy forcing it into that throughout the day or, 
you know, into my cre new creative projects, these videos that I'm working so hard on and pumping out um, new ideas and making sure I'm recording it down and planning everything out. Um, and I um, and then in the end, by the end of the day, I have all of this like leftover creative, you know, inspirational ideas and thoughts. And um, in the meantime, in between all time, <laughs> I'm actually out uh, phys physical, doing a lot of fitness, trying to um, hang out with my friends as much as possible, trying to get that integration, that perfect little mesh of social life, uh, fitness and um, health, you know, uh, mixed in with these uh, working work and creativity, working on your passions. So um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and week and or week wherever you are. You will probably be listening to this when I publish it, which may be tomorrow on a Thursday. So uh, if you have a bit of time ahead of you on the weekend, dedicate a little bit of time, just a little bit of that uh, to your dreams. So you will sit down uh, with a with a notepad and just clear your mind for a second and say, do you know what? Starting again from scratch right now, really, what is it that I really want? What can I work on today, this weekend, for the next few weeks? What can I build that is a passion of mine that will really wake me up in the morning, you know, and give me extra reason to be more more energized but anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed this creator podcast and we shall see you all in the next one thank you all for tuning in wherever you are feel free uh, free to leave a comment of your thoughts below let me know if this um, helped you or inspired you in any way and let me know if after this podcast you decided to go away and work a bit on any one of your creative ideas take care guys and we shall see you soon in the next one bye bye